whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. agencies are constantly vigilant, always on the alert for the predictable type of crime. But unfortunately, all criminal acts are not predictable. And often the most commonplace incidents, things you may see every day in the street, can have the most unusual significance. These people, disguised as guards for the superior armored car service and using a duplicate truck, move quickly and efficiently in stealing $29,000. Such was the case in a routine weekly armored truck money pickup at a large supermarket. A few minutes later, the usual proved to be very unusual indeed, when the legitimate, the real armored truck appeared at the market for its regular pickup. moments it was discovered that a robbery had taken place and in the smoothest manner possible. The highway patrol was immediately notified. Okay, Mr. Gregory, that's enough information to start with. We'll be in touch. Get that any extension? Yes, an armored car just don't disappear into thin air. This one did for the time being, anyway. Send somebody down to the Shermart Market. Have them pick up the manager, Mr. Gregory. Bring him back here. We'll also, a list of all his employees, past and present. Will do. Get a complete check on the Superior Armored Car Service. See if any of their trucks are unaccounted for this afternoon. Do the same with all companies that use armored trucks. Could have been driven in from another city. Yeah, you might be right. You better run it down. Then find out about all recent orders for sheet metal to garages and order repair shops. Get a complete list of all the employees, past and presently employed by the Superior Armored Car Service. Check all places at Bill Carr's daughter. Put every available man on this. Got it. All right, let's get it rolling. keep my shop closed and locked for two weeks while I phony this panel up to look like the real armored truck. Okay, so you're the mechanic. Get going. All right, I was just thinking... Thinking about making the split now, huh? Well, I don't see anything so terrible about it. I must have told you a hundred times when most guys run into trouble. They make a plan and then don't stick with it. The cops can't get you unless you got a record. In our case, they haven't got any because we never pulled a job before. We planned not to touch this money for six months, didn't we? Sure, but... And that's the way it's gonna be with you at this auto shop of yours for the next six months. Business as usual. Understood. Come on, here, let's get started. Now, Walt, remember, burn those uniforms. Strip the phony windows and stuff off this truck and paint it as fast as you can. It'll all be taken care of. Walt, don't come around the stand. Let's go, baby. Everything seemed perfectly normal, Mr. Matthews. I had no idea it was a robbery. Not until the real armored car showed up at the store a few minutes later. How long have you been manager of the store? Since it opened? Last year. But I've been with the chain seven years, sir. And they got, let me see here, 29,000. Yes, sir. When they came in, did they show you the proper identification? Well, to be honest, they showed it, but I didn't really check it. I didn't question them. There's been other guards in the past. I saw the car pull up outside. I had no reason to be suspicious. The money is picked up each week at approximately the same time. As I said, everything's... Yeah, I know. It looked perfectly normal. Is this a list of your employees, past and present? Yes, it is. Sergeant, check this with criminal records. Get me the answer as soon as you can. Art, please, put it away. 
What's the matter with you? I just feel better if you'd put it away. 29,000 lovely American beauties. 29,000. And they'll be even lovelier to spend. I just think in six months we'll be living like... Please. Okay, okay. Better? If only we didn't have to keep it here. Okay. So I'll deposit it in a bank. It's not every week we get a windfall like this, baby. I know, Art. But I've got a feeling things will never be the same again. You bet they won't. We'll never have to scrounge around to make ends meet. You won't be wearing last year's dresses. We'll be somebody's, you and me. A lady and a gentleman, not hash slingers. People will be waiting on us instead of our waiting on them. You said you wanted that, didn't you? Well, didn't you? Yes, Art. That's what I wanted. Mr. Matthews, the reports are completed. Bring them in. The criminal records check on his employees was negative. And the other reports? All superior trucks and those of other companies operating in this area were accounted for, but there is something. What? This is a report on recent orders of sheet metal. This one here is particularly interesting. Oh, Burns Auto Shop, 1863 owned place, operated by Walter E. Burns. Order place seven weeks ago. And this is a report on specialists in custom built cars. This name here, underline. Burns Auto Shop. Report on mechanics, past and presently employed by the Superior Armored Car Service. It pops up there again. Walter E. Burns, chief mechanic from 48 to 53. Rated one of the best. Well, that makes three out of three. Looks like they might have built their own. Could be, but that's doing it the hard way. Let's see what happens with Burns when we ask him a few questions. <laughs> Jumpy, but they were there, I tell you. The highway patrol. What they ask you? I got out before they had a chance to ask me anything. You crazy. It was probably just routine. I wasn't taking any chances. The phony windows are still on the panel. You were supposed to strip it and paint it. I haven't had time. Art, I'm getting out of town. I was even afraid to go back to my apartment for a change. I need money for traveling. And for clothes. And I want my share now. I don't have it here. Just listen to me, Art. I want it. I need it. All right. No. Then when? Tonight, nine o'clock. All right. I'll be back then. I hear. I'll meet you up at the river road, nine o'clock. We'll set everything then. his home, an APB pickup order was radioed to all local points. The bulletin was repeated at regular intervals. When the APB failed to bring results, a tri-state alarm was teletyped. 
The hours passed. All reports coming into headquarters were negative. I thought you'd never get here. It's just nine. Such a perfect plan. Say, Walt, I wonder how the cops ever got to your place. How do I know? Did you bring the money? I, I gotta go. That's what we're here for, Walt. A final settlement. The money's in the car, huh? No, Walt. Come on, quit kidding! Who's kidding? Now look, guard! to be done, Kay. No. No. The police would have caught up with him. He'd have talked. Where would we be? Killy. No. It's the only practical way, baby. continued, but no results were forthcoming. There was not one trace, not one positive indication of where the wanted man might have gone. Matthews. What? Where? I'll be right out. They found Burns on the River Road, murdered. Examiner say. Death was instantaneous, happened by 9 15 p.m. You got the report at 9 30? That's right, by a local farmer. He was passing by, saw the parked car and investigated. Did you see any other cars on the road? No, but there's another car here. It was parked just over there. Any sign of the money? No, but Burns, by the way, didn't have a cent in his pocket. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? A $29,000 robbery, not a cent in his pocket. He gets paid off by being murdered. around here is soft and muddy. We got good impressions of the other car's tires. I think there were seven, ten, fifteens. We also got good impressions of the shoe print. Half the lab boys make prints in them in for analysis. Right. Maybe they'll walk the killer right into our hands. What are you going to do with that briefcase? Tell me. What are you going to do with it? Tell me! I wanted to burn it. You what? Destroy it! I thought it might change things. Undo what's been done, bring us back to where we were before all this started. We were happy then. I'm happy now. Not happy. Different. A murderer. This is the way things are going to stay. And don't you ever get such thoughts again. Terry! Don't try anything foolish. You understand? 
Well, here they are, sir. All set and analyzed. All right, what's your rundown? Shoe size, 8D. That makes him about a man of medium height, huh? Well, we put his height at 5 foot 8, give or take an inch. Is he heavy? No, sir, not over 140. All right, go on. They were inexpensive shoes. I'd say about a year old. Outside leather is showing the grain, and perforation marks are spread wide. And notice this. The sole seems to be pretty thin right there. Either sloppy in appearance, or can't afford to keep his shoes in shape. Judging from the low quality, I'd pick the latter. Well, I'm surprised that you lab boys can't come up with a name and the phone number. <laughs> <laughs> we could if he had written it on his heel. Okay, I'm stopped. We're not. Now, look at this, Mr. Matthews. You see, uh, heels worn down on the inside. Well, notice the arches on both shoes. Frankly, I don't see anything special. Well, we did. These prints were made by a pair of shoes with specially built-in arches. Cheap ones, but specially built in, just the same. We couldn't ask much more from one set of prints, could we? Except the name and the phone number. <laughs> Check all the shoe stores in the area that sell shoes with specially built in arch supports. Get on it right away. Right. Mud. Mud. It's blood, Arthur. And no matter how hard you try, the blood won't come off. Blood? What's the matter with you? Just some mud I stepped in. Walt's blood. Stop that. You're supposed to be out front. You're supposed to act like nothing happened. Business as usual, remember? Business as usual. That's right. For the next six months, everything according to plan. Do you know what they say about the best laid plans? Cut that. Now cut it. This is one plan that's gonna work. Then in six months... Six months? Don't you know time's already up for us? Don't you realize it's already too late? Get out there and take care of the customers. I'm going out. I'll be back in an hour. Uh, number of the railroad station, please. Information booth. Yes, regarding time of trains leaving the city. Thank you. Okay, well, let's keep trying and keep in touch. Come in. The report on Burns Friends is completed. Anything at all? No. Anything from the shoe tracer detail? Willis has come up empty, too. What about the other sections of the detail? Same so far. Matthews. Yes, Kofax. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I got that. Where does he live? Oh, no, I'll take care of this myself, thanks. Kovacs just called from a shoe store on 2nd Street. They've got a customer who comes in every year and buys shoes for specially built in arch supports. Cheap brand, too. Description fits him to a T. His name's Denson. That's a break. Oh, there's more. He and his wife run a hamburger stand on Vetter Avenue. They live in an apartment directly in back of it, right across from the market that was robbed. Let's go. Try something like this. That's why I said I was going out to test you. Art, I... Where were you going? I didn't know. I, I just had to get away. With the money? No, Art. All that acting crazy. Just so you could pull a stunt like this. I didn't want the money, believe me. It's still in the briefcase in the cabinet. Oh, well, see for yourself. It's still there. Covered. 
Do what he says, Art. It's best this way. Do what he says, huh? You think I went through all this for nothing? The money's no good to you now. Please, Art, listen to me just this once. Come on, Denson, with your hands above your head. Come on out, Denson, or we'll come in after you. Art, it's your only chance. All right. All right. I'm coming out. Turn around. Turn around. I'm coming out. Get back. Get back. Get over there. Get over there. If you get me, you get her first. Shoot, it doesn't make any difference. Shoot! They won't. Cops don't kill ladies. Drop your guns, gentlemen. Get up those steps, will you? Get up there! Come on! Thank you. 